for those of you who might be planning a wedding, we've got a segment for you. People like to get married in the summertime. You know, they do it on any night of the week now and any yeah, time of the day. So it's it's not, not like always Saturdays or Fridays like it used to be when we were getting married years and years <laughs> To years different ago. people. It's, it's <laughs> updated and everything's different. Uh, flowers and uh, dresses and uh, where the venues. And there's all, all the kinds of options that we're going to cover right now. Okay, check out what's new at Hillcrest Country Club on this segment. Now, I've been to a lot of weddings in my life, but a faux wedding, this is kind of new. We're here with Jamie James from Bride to Be, and you've got to tell me all about this. Why a faux wedding? Oh, a faux wedding is so exciting because it really lets the bride see how the whole event will play out here at Hillcrest Country Club. They can actually see how the decorations will look, how the flowers will look, and they can get a feel of how the event will come together for their wedding. There are so many players that go into a wedding. You're going to introduce us to everybody. You ready for this? This is one of Indianapolis's just historical, beautiful places. Why is this the perfect place to do this faux wedding? You don't have to be a member to have an event here, and it's gorgeous. Gorgeous greens in the back, because we are also a country club and golf course, um, so they can get some picturesque views out there. We have a footbridge on 12, on hole 12, um, and that has cattails, and it's just gorgeous for photos. We also have our front portico shear that you saw when you came in that has been just the one-of-a-kind backdrop for, you know, those family photos or bride and grooms together. But there is just a lot of great picture-perfect places on this property as well. It feels very magical. I like that very castle-like. Okay, let's go see uh, what else is going to go into this to make this faux wedding a hit. You ready? The spiral staircase is the perfect place for photographers to capture those stunning bridal shots. Jamie James, we're back with her now. Let's uh, find out. So tell me about who else we're going to meet. Thanks. Oh, well, as the brides come in, they will come in and to register and they will get their goodie bags. I and, love a goodie bag. Oh my gosh. And also, um, I'd like to introduce you to our invitation lady. Invitations, they just set the tone for the wedding. Tell me about why an invitation is so important. You just said it, it sets the tone for the wedding. When your guests receive that invitation, it's that wow factor about opening up the invitation and the expectation they have for that fabulous event. So tell me about what some of the brides are gonna see when they come to the faux wedding as far as the different papers and what are you gonna have here? I will have handcrafted, and I do mean handcrafted invitations and customized invitations for them to view. And if they don't see something that they want, we can discuss it and I will make their wish come true. And that's what this faux wedding is all about making a bride's wishes come true. What is it um, about a bride's glam squad that day? What, the, what should they be looking for? The best thing to do is have a look and just relax and let us take care of all the work and not worry about anything. Love it. And what kind of advice do you give to brides as they're kind of planning their beautification for their big day? So I suggest for mine personally, um, allowing at least 30 days to prepare their skin. And then that way it ends up being flawless so that makeup can be put on and then they're just glowing for their wedding pictures. Now tell me, what will you be doing here at the faux wedding? Will you be showing them different looks or what can they expect when they come into this room? Airbrush makeup, of course. So if they don't follow the great skincare procedures, I can still cover up their blemishes. And then um, lashes, of course, and feeling beautiful. All right, the brides are gonna be looking so good after they leave, leave you guys that night. So thank you. Where are we headed to next? I mean, so much to fit in at this faux wedding. The bride will walk down the aisle surrounded by the breathtaking gardens. I love a good bling, guys. So you got to tell me, what are these diamonds going to be like for this wedding? We're going to have a beautiful emerald cut center halo wedding set and a machine custom made wedding band for the guy. And when they come to you, what, what is your job? What do you kind of do to make it easy for them? Sort of help guide them through making their dreams a reality so we can do anything they want. And it usually focuses around the center stone and the design that the lady likes. So. And one detail you may overlook, but the person that's at the center of it all, the officiant helping you take those vows. 
I do things that are natural and just try to break up tension. And if, you know, I get a chance to kind of figure out what they want, we work together on a ceremony so that they're not feeling like I'm saying you've got to do this, this, and this. So it's really their words. A lot of families have come back to me and said, how did they come up with those words? And I said, really, I just... You know, I made some suggestions, but those were their words. So. so special, so special. Thanks for being here. All right, guys, let's go inside. Let's go find Jamie. Oh, there she is. Now, we've talked all about the marriage stuff. Let's talk about what's important. The party. The party, yes. And after the ceremony, we, all the brides and their guests will come this way, and we will have the grand reveal of the ballroom. All the dinner, dancing, all the fun stuff. All the fun stuff. The, the dinner, the cake. We'll have a DJ and a photo booth. Mm -hmm. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah. And we're, we're just so excited. And actually, we're even going to have um, people here that will be able to take you away in a helicopter, a plane, or a jet to your honeymoon. How about that? Oh, hey, that's it's elevation air. It's amazing. Yeah, I so love we it. are going to have so much fun, and this ballroom is going to be decorated to the hilt. Yeah. A lot of work goes into making these tables look beautiful, and I think amazing. some of these ladies might be the ones they doing are. it, right? Yes, so tell me, what it, you guys have been working really hard with the flowers and the decor. What is it that will make this room look more than just a room now? I mean, it's going to really be a transformation. It really will, and we don't want to give anything away. Secrets. But we've been working with Steve's Flowers and Gifts, who unfortunately was not able to be with us today. But we all came with a vision, and Steve is making that happen florally. And Madison with Indiana Wedding Decorators has all the props. Ooh, props, I like this. Okay, so when they come to you, what are they kind of looking at? Is it the, the chairs, the linens, the centerpieces? What are you helping them decide? So we do like the centerpieces. We do um, linens, runners, chairs, arches, everything. Lanterns, it's gonna be amazing. How important do you think it is for brides to see it all, like to have that opportunity? Because usually they have to wait until their real wedding day, but now they get this faux wedding day to kind of get a glimpse. How important do you think that this, this is for them? I think it's pretty important because they can see what they can do, what the options are. There's a lot out there, and we've only really tapped the surface of it. So after the bride and groom have been in here dancing and partying all night, they've got to make their big grand exit. Let's go see where that is all going to happen. So this is where we catch our limo. Yes, this is where the bride and groom will come out and we will have their magical send off. I love it, I love it. This has been the best faux wedding I've ever been to. It's gonna be a fun night. Oh, we're so excited about it. We are so excited. Thanks for including us. Jamie James with Bride to Be. She's got all the information on her website where you can get tickets, who's gonna be here, and it's gonna be a great time. I'm Amanda Clark with Lifestyle Indie.